Channel 5 News. Today, we have Ms. Pavelic, our wonderful counselor. Happy Counselors Week, by the way. Thank you. What is the purpose of showing kids the different careers? Well, we want them to be aware of the careers that are out there for them, and uh, we want them to start thinking about what is it that they want to do when they uh, are adults and they have a job. What career do they want to follow? What are some of the guests that came to our school on career day? We had some very interesting guests. I know that we had a group that has equine therapy. That means that they use horses for therapy, uh, for physical therapy, for mental health therapy. And it was very interesting to see the students work with the, the ponies and the horses. We also had a veterinarian assistant who brought in a heart. Well, not a real heart. Well, it was a real heart, but it was um, like, uh, in some preservative form to show the kids how um, uh, heartworm attacks the heart of an animal. They were very interested in that. We also had the fire department here. We had the police department, the sheriff's department, and we even had an AEP truck, which is the electrical company that came and showed everybody what they do, the job, uh, what training that they have to go through to work in the electrical field. What were some of the reactions of the students with all the other presenters? They were very excited and interested, and a lot of them learned a lot about things that they didn't know, like, for example, the veterinary assistant, that they have to work with animals in that way. The AEP truck, they didn't know that they had to go through training, through months of training, to be able to drive and fix the electrical line. So they learned a lot of stuff, and it was very interesting. Our reporter, Ariana Rivera, interviewed two students to ask about their favorite part of career. Ariana Rivera from Channel 5 News. Today we have Mia Ledesma, our mayor at Houstonville. May we ask you a few questions about career day? Yes. What was careers that went to your class? Careers that went to our class, um, we got a nurse and she was teaching us how to use some masks that they use while they're, while they're, they're doing surgery and they have to wear their hair in a, in a bun. What were a few interesting careers you saw? Well, I was greeting uh, persons that came in here to um, to go to different classrooms to show what they were doing. I met the GE, some general electricity, and they told me that they um, help with the lighting of schools. They go with the truck to help um, create electricity and plug in electricity. We also have saw a veterinarian. The veterinarian had a little cat. She told us that um, she has to take care of uh, the pets, and we also have to take care of them. Thank you for your time. This is Ariana Rivera reporting live from SHOU Channel 5 News. Hello, my name is Ariana Rivera. I'm a reporter from SHOU. Right now we have Olga Hernandez. May I ask you a few questions about career day? Sure. What, was, what were some careers that went to your classroom? We had HEB managers. Nur uh, nurse and police officer. What were a few interesting careers you saw? Um, the police um, and the nurse. What was, your what was your favorite part? That we got to learn about what the nurses do in the hospitals. Thank you for your time. This is Ariana Rivera reporting from SHOU Channel 5 News. Hello, this is Sofia Franco. I'm a reporter here at SHOU News Channel 5. I am with Ms. Ramirez, who was just nominated for Teacher of the Year for the 2019-2020 school year. She's a fifth grade science teacher. First of all, felicidades and thank you, you for being here with us. Thank you. What was your first reaction when they announced you that you are the Teacher of the Year? At first, I didn't think I was going to get nominated or win it, but after that, I felt like it was an honor to be chosen by my teachers from my school, which are my colleagues. What do you think helped you get this nomination? I think my dedication, my hard work that I've been working with the students and just always trying my best because I love working with kids, so I think it's been that, my hard work and dedication. What advice do you have for other teachers? To enjoy what you're doing, love your job, and always keep trying your best. Don't ever give up. Thank you for your time, Ms. Ramirez. This is Sofia Franco reporting from SHOU News, Channel 5.
Good afternoon. My name is Victoria Vasquez and I am a news anchor here at Channel 5 News. Today we have Mrs. Guerra, our UIL coordinator. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? No, I don't. Okay. What is UIL about? So UIL stands for the University Interscholastic League. It was a league created by the University of Texas in Austin in 1910 that provides educational extracurricular academic athletic and music contests. How do, how do you sign up for UIL and when do students Students practice. Students practice on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Um, and in order to sign up, we sent out an email with a PowerPoint attached. The students, the teachers reviewed that PowerPoint with the students and then a permission slip was sent home. What kind of clubs do you have in UIL? We have several clubs that we offer in UIL. We begin with second grade creative writing and then we move on to third, fourth, and fifth grade and offer a variety of things like oral reading in English and Spanish, spelling, dictionary skills, and and very challenging ones like maps, charts, and graphs, science, uh, number sense, things like that. Okay. What kind of, um, when is UIL, like when is the UIL competition held? The competition this year will be held on May 2nd. Okay. Thank you for being with, thank you for being here with us. Good luck and I hope the students do well in UIL. This is, this is Victoria Vasquez reporting live from SHOU Channel 5 News. Hi, I'm Daniel Monteo. Your meteorologist for SHOU Channel 5 News. This week, it's been raining and cold. Valentine's Day week will be sunny and mild. February 15th through the 19th will be a slight chance of rain and will be cold. February 20th through the 23rd will be sunny and mild. February 24th through the 29th, we'll, we'll be expecting showers Cool, and then we'll be mild. You know what they say, February has crazy weather. <laughs>